guys we are back with another song i don't know who it's by though or who what are we doing <laughs> so we're doing the warrior remix lloyd banks featuring eminem 50 cent and nate dog okay i don't think i know this yeah so this is off lloyd banks album the hunger for more okay. which came out in 2004 it was his debut album with g unit so uh there's original song called warrior Okay. With Lloyd Banks, and this is the remix. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's good. So I love this album. I love this whole song. Um, this whole song. Um, I don't know if anybody's requested this or not. I'm not sure. I don't know. But it's one of my favorite Eminem features, and I don't even know that Eminem has the best verse on it. It's just, you know, a good song in my opinion. Yeah, there were some big requests for a song called Caterpillar. Yes. <laughs> we will be doing that after Kamikaze. You gotta leave something good. You know what I mean? So people keep watching. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. And we are sponsored by Manscaped. Again, I recently got the performance package 4.0. Comes with the lawnmower 4.0. As always, my favorite part is that it has this light so you could actually see what you're doing. It has a ceramic blade and it's waterproof. All that helps reduce nicks and ingrown hairs. You could use it in the shower. It's great. Performance package also comes with these attachments for the trimmer, so you could adjust what size hair you want. <laughs> what size? Oh, yes. <laughs> what length? Yes, same thing. <laughs> yeah. It also comes with a separate ear and nose hair trimmer and crop reviver and crop preserver, also known as ball deodorant and ball toner. Very nice. And it comes with this travel case. You can carry everything around with you. And, of course, the boxers, boxer briefs, which are very comfortable. They're awesome. Yeah. Yes. You got to show them them one day. I will. I'm not wearing them right now because I only have one pair. They're actually <laughs> dirty in the wash because I already wore them, you know. So We'll show you them when they're clean. Yes. <laughs> and you guys can get 20% off and free shipping with the code WITHSMITH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code with Smith. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. And the link is in the description below. And we are also sponsored by Carnivore Snacks, one of my favorite meat snacks. It's only got two ingredients in it. This is the chuck flavor. So it's got grass-fed beef chuck and Redmond real salt. It's just like eating a meat potato chip, which sounds weird, but it's absolutely incredible and severely addicting. And I definitely recommend trying them if you haven't before, like you really need to. And you can use our coupon code with Smith for 15% off your order. The link is in the description below. You can also use the same coupon code for Chomps, which is another one of my favorite meat snacks. It's my favorite beef jerky. It's minimal ingredients, grass-fed, just like carnivore snacks. Um, absolutely delicious, soft, moist, 90 calories per stick, which is really great. And you can use the same coupon code with Smith for 10% off your order and an additional 10% off subscriptions. And the link's in the description for that as well. Did I say 10% off descriptions? subscriptions i don't know i didn't it's an extra 10 percent off subscriptions yes. and the link is in the description i can't my tongue i'm like tongue twisted right now <laughs> um and also you can use the same exact coupon code for um seat geek which is the greatest ticket website ever you can get concert tickets sporting event tickets literally any kind of ticket you could think of they should have it and you can use our coupon code with smith <laughs> for twenty dollars off your very first purchase and the link's in the description for that as well that's seat geek seat geek oh. okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also check out our amazon storefront if you want to follow us on social media channels if you want to Hit the like and subscribe button. And yeah, that is it from me in my little infomercial yes. thing. Oh, I also wanted to say, I actually don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not. If you want that Manscaped, you guys should act soon because we're on a trial basis with them. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so if enough people don't use it, we won't be affiliated anymore. And I'm assuming that our code will no longer be, you know, That's usable. That's true. So, so yeah. if you want it, act now. I'm not trying to give you the hard sale. I'm just saying if you're watching this in the future and the code doesn't work, that could That's be why. why. Yes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, Warrior Remix. Part two, actually, they call it.
Here we go. He won't sit down, give him a crown, and he throws it around It's like a joke, he's like a king, but he don't do a thing He don't want the diamonds, want the gold, don't want the jewelry He don't want the ring, don't want the movies in it for the sport Running circles round his competition on the court He appreciates your support, but he ain't begging for it And you can love it, you can hate it, but you can't ignore it You can't be that ignorant, but you can try to sell him short But you can't fuck with his last joint or the one before it And he was born to raise hell like them country boys And if I'm frontin', then you better come this is the story of a warrior, I know you know it True warriors, go ahead and make some noise It ain't nothing to be making niggas paranoid Hit your corner with my weapon, I don't need my boys I'm doing 120 in the fast lane Kick back, just relax, let me do my thing Don't give a fuck about you suckers, gotta maintain Money, power, and respect in this rap game <laughs> I like the beat. It's, That's really fun. Eminem produced it. It's cool. So it's very good. Yeah. Yeah. So this, as I mentioned, so this is called Warrior Part 2. They're both on the album, like the original Warrior and then Warrior Part 2. That's pretty I feel cool. like you usually don't see that. You know what I mean? No. Usually you make the remix like later on. Yeah. That's cool though. I like that. Yeah. So it is cool. Um, yeah. So it starts off with the beat, that awesome beat. It's incredible. Um, and then you just hear Eminem. Woo. Yeah. Remix. Lloyd Banks. You know, he's shouting out all the G-Unit people. Mm -hmm. Well, not really. He's shouting at Lloyd Banks. <laughs> all right. And then Eminem comes in first verse. He says, it's like a throne that he don't even own. He won't sit down. Give him a crown. He just throws it around. It's like a joke. He's like a king, but he don't rule a thing. So the lyrics are wrong there. So he's like talking about himself. Like being, you know, on top, right? Yeah. So I, so he's this is talking about himself. He is, but it's a, it's an interesting perspective, right? Because he's like, okay, so the the song's about being a warrior, right? And so he's saying it's like a throne that he don't even own. He won't sit down, give him a crown, he just throws it around. So he's like, he's king, but he's not like taking but, it seriously. Yeah, and he doesn't care he's about still it. Still doing his thing. Yeah, and he's saying, you know, it's like a joke. He's like a king, but he don't rule a thing. So like, he doesn't rule anything. Yeah. So it's like this weird. I mean, it's a very Eminem type thing to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like kind of counterintuitive mm -hmm. instead of just shit talking. Like I'm a king. You know? Yeah. He's like flipping it up a little bit, which is unique. Um, he says he don't want the diamonds, want the gold, or want the jewelry. He don't want the room and he don't want the loot. He's in it for the sport. So again, like his usual message, he's just here for rapping, like nothing else. Yes. He says running circles around his competition on the court. So that's like a – Basketball. Yeah. The basketball court. I guess the tennis court could be too. But yeah. Yeah. But like – when you talk about basketball, like you actually do like run arounds with your competition and tennis, you don't really approach the other person. No, but the running circles is like a yeah. it's like a metaphor, you know, not You're like, like saying that they're whapping you, like they're doing so much better that they're literally running circles around you. Yeah, like exactly. on a track. For sure. Yeah. And then he says he he appreciates your support, but he ain't begging for it. And you could love it. You can love it and you can hate it. I think it's it. I, I feel like there's an it missing there. Is it love and hate? Yeah. And you can love it. You can hate it, but you can't ignore it. But you can't be that ignorant. So I love the way he does that. Yeah. It Ign makes it all rhyme Ign well. Ignore it sounds like ignorant the way he breaks up the bar. So it's funny. This is 2004. This is like technically early Eminem. Yeah, you know? for sure. But he's doing, you're starting to see like his ability to bend words here early on, you know? That's true. He says, but you could try to sell him short. So sell him short, you know, you don't think he's worth it, not going to yeah. do what he's going to do. But you can't fuck with his last joint or the one before it. So you're not as good as him. Yes. And he was born to raise hell like them country boys. And if I'm fronting, then you better come confront me for it. Uh, front and front that's cool yeah so yeah he's born to raise hell which he always does and then you know do something about it if you think he's full of shit <laughs> all right and then we get into nate dog on the hook who's he's just like every time you hear nate dog on a hook i feel like it's incredible 
Yeah. His voice is so good. He's like got that deep, like bassy voice, but he's like smooth. It's like, I don't know. It sucks he's dead because he was so good. I didn't know he died. Yeah, he died like a while, maybe like 10, 15 years ago at this point. Why? I don't remember actually. That's so sad. I didn't yeah, know I know. that. Yeah, he's great. So then the hook, which is this is the story of a warrior. I know you know it. True warriors go ahead and make some noise. It ain't healthy to be making dudes paranoid. Hit your corner with my weapon. I don't need my boys. So it's the theme for the song, right? Where they're each telling their – so Lloyd Banks on the original, he like tells his like story. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he, he has multiple verses to get it out. So they're each doing their their little verse of, you know, how they are warriors. So, you know, he's saying this is our story. So it, it ain't healthy to be making dudes paranoid. So like, oh, don't make people paranoid. You're going to yeah. end up dying, right? And then he says, I'm going to go to where you're at with my weapon. I don't need a crew with me. I can handle you by myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he says, I'm doing a hundred. So this says tween. It sounds like he says twen. Is that what he, is that what you hear? I'm going to play it. So it sounds like he's saying 120, right? But he's abbreviating the 20 to twen. Tell me if that's what you're hearing. Cause that says tween, but I guess that's how you would say twen maybe. He says tween, tween? or 120. It kind of sounds like 20, right? I'd say 120. 120. 20? Yeah, 20. So, yeah, I guess that is. He's saying it fast and kind of high. 120. It actually does sound like 20. Like he's saying it, it just like quick. Yeah. So, he's doing 120 in the fast lane. Kick back, just relax. Let me do my thing. Don't give a fuck about you suckers. Got to maintain money, power, and respect in this rap game. So, explanatory. He'll, he'll mess with you. I mean, he'll kill you if you try to mess with him. Yeah. You know? He's speeding, he's relaxing, doing his thing, he doesn't care, and you, he needs to... Speeding and relaxing. <laughs> yes, At least for funny. me, that's not a relaxing thing. Very true. <laughs> and he's maintaining money, power, and respect in the rap game. All right, we will pick it up here. You know what? I'm just going to let the song play out. We'll break down Lloyd Banks and 50 Cent at the same time. In this rap game, he's straight out of a neighborhood with niggas hate. To see you go and eat your dinner off a bigger plate This stomach's egg while he's lounging in the bigger state And he hops in a hundred thousand when a nigga skate Houses with a bigger gate, hounding him's a big mistake He won't surrender, he'll rather give up a rib to break Cause he remembers when they wouldn't lend a helping hand So he was sitting on green like a Celtic fan Created a buzz, so when you gotta mention his name When you discussing the illest players that's in the game And he's riding with M, 50 Cent, docking them to you, the records ain't a motherfucker stopping them. Stop this is the story of a warrior, I know you know it. True warriors, go ahead and make some noise. It ain't healthy to be making niggas paranoid. Hit your corner with my weapon, I don't know my boys. I'm doing a hundred train in the fast lane. Kick back, just relax, let me do my thing. Don't give a fuck about you, suckers gotta maintain. Money, power, and respect in this rap game. He's no magician, man. They give me something out of nothing. So now niggas from his hood act like he owe him something. They talk crazy till he see niggas can get a buck him. Ask him if it's a problem and he'll say, nah, it's nothing. He was gonna help him out, but since they finally fuck him. He don't care how they feel, they can hate him, I love him. He hold his own on his own, the kid is really duggin'. He's rich now, he ain't changed, so niggas think he buggin'. He pull up with everything, this niggas try and buck him. Keep two pistols on his hip, I show you where he tuck him. Niggas say they gon' get at him, but they can't touch him. Try to catch him slippin', they creepin', he start bustin'. This is the story of a warrior, I know you know it. True warriors, go ahead and make some noise. It ain't nothing to be making niggas paranoid. Hit your corner with my weapon, I don't need my boys. I'm doing a hundred train in the fast lane. Kick back, just relax, let me do my thing. Don't give a fuck about you, suckers gotta maintain. Money, power, and respect in this rap game. I can give you niggas something you can talk about. I can turn your smile upside down. You ain't no G, you a fucking clown. I can take your girl into a turnaround Don't hold it in, let it all out I can give you fucking something to be mad about And bite her in, send her back out With my DNA all in her mouth <laughs> Oh man, Nate the best <laughs> <clears throat> Alright So Eminem, then the chorus And then we're up to Lloyd Banks He has the second verse So he says <clears throat> he's straight out of a neighborhood where dudes hate to see you blow and eat your dinner off a bigger plate. So it's interesting. He's saying, you know, 
where he's from, people are jealous. Yeah. You know, they hate on you. And if you're like making it specifically, yeah, to see you, you know, get famous and then yeah. eat your dinner off a bigger plate, you know, you have more. Um, he says their stomachs ache while he's lounging in the big estate and he hops in a hundred thousand where the dudes stay, houses with the bigger gate. So he continue he continues with the, the scheme. The same like contacts. <clears throat> yeah, so he does the eat and then the dinner and then plate. And then he oh, goes like on to scheme. while their stomachs, you know, their stomachs ache. So he continues. Exactly. Um, and yes, he's lounging in the biggest state. So we've mentioned this in previous videos. We used to live not far from his house. Yes. It's a nice house. It's not an estate. It's a very it's nice house. It's skin big. It's not an estate, though. It's a mansion. It's a mansion. <laughs> but there's a big difference between a mansion and an estate. I never... I always use those, like, interchangeably. No, they're not. The estate is more the property size than the... the whereas a he mansion is, like, good the good property. House. He's got, like, an acre there. Something like that. He has less property than we have right now. We're not rich, by the way. No. <laughs> like, well, so... We just happen to have a lot a of land. We, well, we live in a we cheaper county. We live in, like, county. the country. A cheaper <laughs> county. <laughs> it's, like, where he lives, it's, like... Way more expensive. Oh, yeah. Million dollar homes. We're like living in the country, basically. Yeah. But my point is, so we live in a different county now. Yeah. And properties, you know, it's not as expensive. But my no. point is, he, like had, a third. he had a very nice house there. Very big. Yes. And he had awesome cars. We always see the baby blue Bentley. And he had a navy the blue red. Bentley. He had like a red Ferrari. He had something like that, too. I forget yeah. what else. But I used to see him and his brother would be driving around in the Bentley. Um, cause last time I saw the house, it wasn't looking too good. It wasn't, it was beat up. It not beat up. It just had a, it just looks like it hadn't been painted in a while and there was algae growing. The algae, yeah, for sure. So I was wondering if he was doing okay. Like, so, thanks if you're watching this. Are you okay? <laughs> so he's trying to come back around. He was making some music. I love yeah. Lloyd Banks. He, the PLK, Punchline King. He's awesome. But anyway, that's, uh, you know, digress. Yeah. He has a very nice house. I wouldn't call him the state though. And then he hops in a hundred thousand where the dude stays. So, so a hundred thousand. I'm assuming he's referring to a vehicle. hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah, yeah. This was two thousand four. So. Yes. And then he said, "Where the dude stay? Houses with a bigger gate." He does have a big gate. Did he have a gate? I don't he had remember. a fence. The dogs were always oh, like yeah. trying to break through the fence. That is true. Yes. It was a big deal when he moved, and that's why we know so much. Everybody was yeah. like, "Oh my God, Lloyd Banks moved into the neighborhood." So. Well, nearby. Cool. Yeah. I didn't live in Huntington. Well, I worked in the town when he um, moved in at the pharmacy. I lived a few towns away. The na- it was like a, it was out of like a movie. It was like stereotypical, like the old white ladies coming in. Like, I, you hear there's a rapper moving into the neighborhood? It was very funny. Okay. So then he continues, hounding him's a big mistake. He won't surrender. He won't surrender. He'll rather give up a rib to break because he remembers when they wouldn't lend a helping hand. Till he was sitting on green like a Celtic fan. So that's a sick bar. Yeah. It's but, so saying no one wants to help him until they realize he has money. Exactly. Like something that they could gain from him. Yes. And so it's a, it's a similar scheme to like uh, 50 Cent where he's like, you know, Hannah is a big mistake. He won't surrender. You know, he's going to, you know, you fuck with him. He's going to come back at you. <laughs> and yes, like you just pointed out, nobody wanted to mess with him and tell him he was rich. Uh, and then he says, created a buzz to where you got to mention his name when you discuss in the illest players that's in the game, which is true. G-Unit was like everything at this point in time. And he says, and he's riding with M, 50 Cent, Doc and them. G-Unit records ain't no motherfucking stopping them. So Lloyd Banks, nice verse. Very good. And then we get to the chorus again. And then 50 Cent, he closes it out. He says, he's no magician, man, the kid does something out of nothing, so that dudes from his hood act like he owes them something. They talk crazy till they send dudes to where, to where, to buck them. I think there's a word missing there. No, till they send dudes to where to buck him. Till they kill him. Yeah, but the to where. They send to where to like where they have to go to kill to him. where to but yeah it's just like odd. where to find him. it sounded fine when he wrapped it I'm I'm like trying to read it and I'm like why does this sound odd but yes you're right to where to buck him ask him if it's a problem and he'll say no nah, it's nothing he was gonna help him out but since they fronted fuck him so he's saying so this is interesting he's like he's not a magician 
but yeah. he turns he does something out of nothing so 50 cents similar to lloyd banks verse you know they, they come from rough actually they're both from queens and you know they made something in their lives and then exact same thing lloyd banks with the sitting on green people feel like they owe them something even mm. though they didn't help them yeah, for whatever reason so, exactly. oh we're from the same neighborhood you owe us you know right. what i mean yeah and then he says um they talk crazy till they send dudes to where to buck him so to come kill him and then he asks him if it's a problem. He says, no, nah, it's nothing. So he's not sweating it. And he's yeah, like, like, he'll deal with it. It's like, I was going to help them out, you know, but, but since they're now. hating, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Then he says, he don't care how they feel. They can hate him or love him. He held his own on his own. The kid is really thugging. He's rich now. He ain't changed. So dudes think he's bugging. He bulletproofed everything because dudes try and buck him. Keep two pistols on his hip. I'll show you where he tuck him. So this <laughs> is a sick scheme. He's doing a lot of the him him you know what i mean so yeah. he's following a very similar scheme through it's the pretty cool. through the whole verse so yeah he doesn't care if people like him or not so he's been thugging since he was a kid and he hasn't changed and then he says he bulletproofed everything so i feel like that's kind of a change right i mean i know he got shot before he was huge yeah that is a change you're like kind you know, of gotta watch yourself now well, he so it's a little change yeah i don't think he could have afforded to bulletproof everything oh. before that either no. do you know what i mean yeah. And then, yes, he's got two pistols and he'll show you where. All right. And then he says, dudes say they're going to get at him, but they can't touch him. Try to catch him slipping. They creep in and he start busting. Self-explanatory. Yes. So they come after him, but he gets them first. All right. And then it, so Nate Dogg goes back to the chorus and then he has a, a little like different a little outro. Yeah. yeah. He says, I can give you dudes something you can talk about. I can turn your smile upside down. You ain't no G, you a fucking clown. I could take your girl and to turn her out. Don't hold it in, let it all out. I can give you fuckers something to be mad about. Invite her in, send her back out with my DNA all in her mouth, which is so funny. So, I mean, again, this is pretty straightforward. He's going to turn your frown upside down, smile upside down, sorry. So, you know, you're not gangster. You can't fuck with him. Or G unit, they're gonna kill you, you know, <laughs> and he's gonna take your girl from you. Yeah, so the song's really good, but like who won? Yeah, so interesting. So what do you think? So I think Nate Dog won. So he <laughs> so it's not really a verse, that's it's Damn. more of a chorus. I thought it was the best that I've heard. <laughs> So t aside from him, ends it. so I agree. He so won. you could like the chorus. So aside from Nate Dog, though, 50 Cent. Lloyd Banks, Eminem, who do you think had the best verse out of them? So as I was listening to them all and thinking about it, I was about to say they all tied until I heard Nate Dogg. So I'm saying besides him, though, if you have to pick between they Eminem. Tied. Wait, oh, so you think. They tied. Eminem, 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks tied. So I agree that they're all, they're all like good. Like there's, I feel like there's nothing crazy that stands out. So you're going to have, in terms of like bars, like they're all like good, like sh shit talking, you know, like rap bars. Um, I have the lyrics here on my phone. I'm just briefly skimming. So like none of them stand out with anything like crazy. Nate Dog does. So three for, of his lines mm -hmm. stood out to me. For me though, the next thing I would look at is the actual rhyme scheme. And yeah. so 50 Cent carries the whole, he ends every bar with the in. That's cool. Yeah. Like, so yeah. he says nobody. He made something out of nothing. Something. Fuck him. Nothing. Fuck him. <laughs> love him. Thuggin. Buggin. Fuck him. Yeah. The whole. So he carries the whole scheme through the whole verse, which is very impressive. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Nate Dog was the only one that made me mm. go like that, so I think he won. So again, Nate Dog's doing the chorus, so that's why. Well, he didn't have a verse, is my point. This is a verse? The outro? Yeah. I suppose. He won. But yeah. <laughs> I would. So if I had to give it to somebody, though, obviously besides Nate Dogg, I'd give it to probably 50 Cent. Interesting. This is probably the first song we've done Where reaction to. It's not Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> I love Eminem's verse. It's great. Yeah, you it know? is great. But I think 50 Cent had might have had the best one on this. Nate Dogg won, though. Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Well, the song is really good. 
Um, and check out Manscapes, Chomps, Carnivore Snacks, Seek Geek, Amazon Storefront. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you. Bye. Bye.